Uh, Jürgen, uh, before we talk about football, obviously two of the club's big rivals are going through a period of mourning at the minute. Manchester United with Sir Bobby Charlton and Everton with their former chairman, Bill Kenwright, as well. Obviously, the club has paid tribute. I just wondered if you'd met either of them at any point and, and whether there was anything you could add in terms of a tribute yourself as well. I don't think I can add anything. I never met any of them, at least not as far as I know. But uh, being eight years in England now, and with respect, especially Sir Bobby, I, I, I knew him before I arrived here. Um, and yeah, one of the biggest football personalities, definitely, in English football, European football, world football. Um, and I, how I said, I can't add anything, but I really feel for the family and I hope they're, um, um, they're doing okay. And with Mr. Ken Wright, it's, it's a similar. I did the, the thing what I, I read a little bit recently and like, obviously, a massive heart for the city and a massive heart for Everton. Um, but the, the 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 message he gave around the Hillsborough thing, all the speech he held that time, I I, I heard about. Um, they choose the wrong city and the wrong mums. That's it's a really really strong message. And and with all the rivalry with 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 Everton, around, especially around the games, I don't think we have anything really any issues with each other. Um, left and right of the games, so this just shows um, how united we are in these moments, and that's that's really big. And it, and he found the absolute right words for it. So same here. Um, my condolences to the family, and I hope they are they are okay. Thank you. Uh, in terms of the injury situation at the club, uh, what's happened with Andy Robertson? Has he had surgery? How's he how's he recovering? And also Cody Gakpo, is he ready to return after missing out at the weekend? Yeah, Robo, Robo had surgery um, and all went well, as good as it could be. Um, so recovery starts after he wakes up. I think it happens this morning. Um, and so that's it. Um, we don't know how long it will take or whatever. Um, but the first step is done. That's good. Cody's in full training now since Sunday. Um, means he's available for the squad. Whatever we do with that, we have to see. Um, but that's good as well. Who else is Thiago out? Thiago Bacetic. Yeah, no. Thiago, and no, no, it's not a team training. And you've got a busy schedule again because it's midweek, Sunday, midweek, Sunday, midweek, Sunday, all the way to the international break as well. But at the same time, I'd imagine the ambition and the thought is that you can carry real momentum into that inter international break with Manchester City on the other side of it as well. I didn't think until Sunday yet, to be honest, uh, not at all. Um, Toulouse deserves all our respect. It's a really interesting, I would say, story winning the FA Cup last year, becoming 13th in the league, but winning the, the French Cup. Sorry, not the FA Cup, winning the French Cup. and. Um, it's a massive, massive thing, obviously, and um, this year um, a very, really young team, a really talented team, a football team. When you see them playing, it's it's, it's really nice. They have a clear idea, um, and but we have to see how they exactly show up here. We don't know. They against Paris or Lens, they played slightly different. Um, in all other games, you could see they that they really wanna wanna go for it, um, and. Got a point against PSG, which is obviously a massive one, and um, so we have to make sure that we are really ready. It's an, and then it's about us. That's very important that we really create an atmosphere um, through the way we play. Um, and if we do that, then it. Um, as much I'm pretty sure that they're looking forward to um, playing at Anfield, the players of Toulouse, coaches and stuff like this. But then we have to make sure that they cannot enjoy it because that's the plan. It's a competition and we are not here to um, for friendly games or whatever. We are really here to, 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 to win football games and that's what I hope we can show. Mike? Jürgen, yeah, you're well positioned in your group. Uh, two wins from two games so far. Uh, another victory against Toulouse would, would put you in a really good position. True. Yeah, we should not 
I do, but actually, it's now not that I think um, we play to lose at home, so we have to win, that we can lose at to lose or whatever, these kind of things. Um, and we want to win the football games. So, and that's the next we, we, the next opportunity we have uh, that would bring us to nine points and would keep to lose on four points. That's all clear, but that knowing that changes nothing. Um, we have to play um, to our best. We will make a few changes, not too many maybe, we will see, but um, we have to make sure that we are really ready for the competition. And the boys so far show really that we are ready for the competition and um, that's what I want to see um, and obviously we hope it will go long 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 um, in this competition for that we have to make all the decisive steps and tomorrow night is a very big one. Looking back to Saturday and Darwin Nunez's role in, in the second goal that he set up for, for Mo Salah is that an indication of, of how he's progressing in, in terms of, you know, maybe this time last season he would have, we know with his pace he can get away from people, but running in towards goal, maybe he would have had a crack at goal, but Mo Salah in a better position. Is that just one of the signs of, of how he's growing as a player? He's just in a really good moment. Darwin is in a really good moment. It's a... Uh, Yes, um, there, there were some time necessary to adapt to everything. New country, new language, um, new team, all these kind of things. That's long gone. He's in the middle of the team. Everybody is really happy with him. I'm very happy with him. Um, we had to make a decision before the game. Who of the two will start? Is it um, Lucho or Darwin? Darwin has a little bit cramps at the end of the international game. So we thought, okay, maybe we, 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 we start Lucho. We spoke to both, both took it. Lucho's job was to create, prepare, do what you can do to cause as much trouble as possible. And, and Darwin comes on and kills the game off. That was the idea and it worked out really, really well um, with, uh, with speed. But you could see it was really intense for him, even if it was, too, I don't know exactly how long, 20 odd minutes. Uh, it was really intense, so it was the right decision to do how we did. It's uh, always tough for the boys to, 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 to have these kind of travels um, before the games. And um, so, but now he's, He's fine for, for this game, I would say, um, and for the next game, so that's good. And yes, it's, it's a complete, it's, it's really, I think he's really happy. Um, and well, we are really happy with him and um, that's what you, what I can see at least on the pitch and on the training ground and that's um, really important, really good moment for him. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the content today. If you want to get your name in and amongst these wonderful people, uh, then head to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. You're going to get free merchandise, merchandise codes. You're going to get in our Discord and you're going to get your name at the end of YouTube videos. Yes, redmenplus.com, legend tier status.